This story is called Now and Ben, The Modern Inventions of Benjamin Franklin, written by Jane Beretta. And the books on the right-hand side of the page are a few of the other books that the author has written. And there's a picture of the author. Now and Ben. Now and then, we think about Ben. Dr. Benjamin Franklin, to be precise. And we think about his many inventions. Inventions he originated more than 200 years ago. There's his wife, Deborah, on the left-hand page, his son, William, Francis, and his daughter, Sally. It was as if Ben could see into the future. Almost everything he created is still around today. For instance, now our newspapers are filled with illustrations. Ben was the first to print a political cartoon in America. The cartoon encouraged the American colonies to join together or die like the disconnected snake. Now, bifocals are very common. Bifocals combine two sets of lenses into one pair of glasses. The bottom lens helps see near, and the top lens helps see far. Ben originally designed bifocals for himself after he grew tired of switching between two pairs of glasses. Now, our world relies on electricity. In the 18th century, many people still believed that lightning was an act of anger and punishment from God. Ben was one of the scientists who discovered the true nature of electricity and how to use it. He learned that lightning is electricity when he attached a small metal wire to the top of a kite and gathered electricity from a storm cloud. Now, many buildings and homes use lightning rods to protect against lightning strikes. Ben invented the lightning rod and was the first to use it. The pointed iron rod acts like a magnet and grabs an approaching lightning bolt from the sky before it can strike the rooftop. The electricity then travels safely down a long wire into the ground. It prevents fires and keeps dangerous amounts of electricity away from the house. Now, this gadget goes by many names, such as the grabber. Everyone has seen one. It's the long stick that helps grab items from out of reach places. Ben invented the original device and called it the long arm because it worked like a very long arm. Now, swimmers and divers use flippers to move faster through water. Ben invented things even when he was a boy. He was an avid swimmer and built wooden flippers for both his hands and feet. Now ships travel across the Gulf Stream to take advantage of the faster current. Ben measured, charted, and publicized the Gulf Stream during his eight voyages across the Atlantic Ocean. Now we understand and accept the benefits of vitamin C. Ben was an early promoter of eating citrus fruits to help prevent a disease called scurvy. Now for a musical interlude. Ben invented the glass harmonica. He was able to create music by simply touching his wet fingers to a row of spinning glass bowls. Mozart and Beethoven were so moved by the sounds that they composed for the instrument. Today, glass harmonicas are very rare. You are more likely to find one in a museum than in a music store. Now, our fireplaces are very efficient and easy to use. Ben improved the primitive fireplaces of his day when he designed the Pennsylvania fireplace, later renamed the Franklin stove. He built it with iron to contain the heat from a fire long after the logs were burned. It also sat away from the wall 
to heat the room more evenly. The smoke ventilation was not perfect, but later inventors improved it. Before Ben's fireplace, indoor smoke could be suffocating. Now chairs come in all shapes and sizes. Ben designed two chairs that are still very useful. The writing chair combined a desk and a chair into one. The library chair was a combination chair and stepladder. Now everyone has seen a rocking chair, but not many have seen Dr. Franklin's rocking chairs. Ben invented one rocking chair with a fan on top and one that churned butter. Now, every year we observe daylight saving time, which means we set our clocks ahead one hour in the springtime. As a result, it stays darker longer in the morning when most people are sleeping and stays light longer at the end of the day so we can save more energy. In the fall, we return the clocks to standard time. Ben suggested this idea in one of his essays as a way to save money for burning fewer candles. Farmers could also gain more work time in the evening. Daylight saving time was not officially practiced until World War I, more than a hundred years later. As for clocks, Ben designed the first clock with a second hand. Now every automobile has an odometer to measure the distance it travels. Ben invented the odometer when he was postmaster general so he could measure his postal routes. Now, almost every large community includes a library, a hospital, a post office, a fire department, and a sanitation department. Ben lived in a city that had none of these establishments, so he helped organize the first of each. Now and then, we owe thanks to Ben for his important inventions, but many would agree that his greatest accomplishments came in the form of documents, documents that helped shape the world. Ben had a pivotal role in developing America's Constitution, the Treaty of Alliance with France, the Treaty of Peace with England, and the Declaration of Independence. It's remarkable that one man could achieve so much in a lifetime. He has certainly helped to form the modern world. Will his contributions help to form our future? The End